well, something worse happened to this t- Twitch streamer. She goes by the name of uh, Just Foxy, Kylie, aka Just Foxy. She she uploaded a video. Something actually horrible happened to her. So yeah, she has over five hundred thousand followers. Uh, terrifying situation that what happened to her. Uh, two weeks ago, she was on vacation. And she gets a phone call from her mom. And, you know, her mom tells her, yo, your car, your car's on fire. Someone literally put your car on fire. Apparently someone, one of her viewers, one of her fans traveled 700 miles to do this shit. Right. The, the guy, they captured the guy. Uh, he's in police custody now. Let's watch what she said, because this this isn't funny, dude. I don't know. How do you even start a video like this? Seriously. I guess I'll start off by saying that the person who did this to me is arrested and the police are handling everything and that's honestly the most important thing. Um, I'm sure you guys are probably going to be very concerned for me, so I just wanted to let you guys know that first before I get into everything else. My life has honestly been insane for the past year, um, year and a half. I was dealing with other issues for a long time like stalker type things and that's obviously been very draining for me um as you can imagine and a big reason that i haven't been streaming or posting nearly as much as i used to um a few years back this happened two weeks ago when i was on vacation i was asleep it was around two in the morning and my mom called me and woke me up she was crying and i knew something really bad had happened And she said, (laughs) for those wondering, why is there a Christmas tree in the back? Guys, these are Twitch streamers. If you guys don't know what Twitch streamers are, they basically just stream all day, chat with you. And obviously they have to have a good background. So maybe this is just the background she chose. Like I chose this background. I don't know. Maybe she loves Christmas. (laughs) Someone caught your car on fire. I'm so sorry. I have to go. The police are here. And she was in the house. Well, imagine getting a call. From your parent saying, yo, someone put your car on fire. And this car was not, (laughs) this car was, a, I believe it was Tesla. Either way, if it was a Tesla or a Toyota, I don't care, bro. I'm still, I'm still crying over my car. All this was happening. Obviously, I didn't know what to do. I was very far from home. The only thing I really could do was go look at the cameras on my phone. And that's what I did. I went to look at the cameras and... I saw my car in flames. That's the first thing I saw. Wow. I just couldn't believe that I was watching my car. Was it a Tesla? I I don't even think it was a Tesla. Just burn. And for somebody to take that from me is very hurtful. And I will never be able to understand that. Thankfully, the cameras caught the guy doing it. And I went back to watch that. I also forgot to mention traveled around 700 miles to come and do this to me, which makes it so much worse, in my opinion. I watched Bro, him. that is so much worse. Yes. Imagine traveling 700 miles to put a car on fire, to put someone you watch, to to do harm to someone, somebody you watch. Bro, like for what? There's no reason, dude. There's no reason at all put a brick on my car on the hood and some pot and he lit something sticking out of it and walked away casually like he didn't do anything that's not tesla Um, the next clip after that was the front end of my car engulfed in flames the firefighters came very quickly and I'm very thankful for that because the fire spread to the fence and burnt the side of my house as well, which my mom and animals were inside of. We're all traumatized in ways that I would never be able to describe, but I'm just glad everybody is safe. Yeah, 700 miles to go to jail, possibly prison. And that's the most important thing to me. I just never thought that when I started streaming back in 2015 that something like this would ever happen to me. I'm hopefully going to be back to grinding soon and 
I hope you guys understand, and I'm sure you will. I've always loved streaming so much, but it's so hard to even feel motivated when all of this is happening and going on. I want to get back to grinding. This is obviously still like an ongoing. All right, but you guys get the point, you know. It's just another example of dumbass people doing dumbass shit. Bro, it just drives me nuts to hear this person travel. I'm sound like a broken record, but traveled 700 miles to do this. Like, who has that time? Literally, who has that time?